It is important to read and understand all operating and safety instructions in the manual before operating RoboMower. Setup RoboMower comes fully prepared. Only a few easy tasks need to be performed in order to enable its operation. All the accessories needed to set up the RoboMower on your lawn are supplied with the product. First, remove the power pack to allow easier lifting of the RoboMower from the box. All other accessories should now be taken out of the box. The following accessories are included with the RoboMower. Power pack, perimeter wire, pegs, robo ruler, perimeter switch, power supply, operating and safety manual with the quick start guide inside, CD, perimeter switch location. The first step is to determine the best location for the perimeter switch on your lawn. It is recommended to mount the perimeter switch on a wall or fence in a dry and sheltered location. Choose a location that is relatively easy for you to access. If you are setting up more than one zone, you may purchase an additional perimeter switch as an accessory. The perimeter switch may also be moved between zones using the mounting stake. Insert the mounting stake into its slot at the bottom of the perimeter switch. Be sure that it is mounted vertically in the ground at all times. It would be too early to activate the perimeter switch at this stage. If you do, however, the wire disconnected light will illuminate and a beeping sound will start. This is because the perimeter wire loop is not yet connected to the perimeter switch. To turn off the perimeter switch, press the on button continuously for three seconds. In normal operation, it will automatically turn off after a few hours. Perimeter Wire Setup Please refer to the Perimeter Wire Setup chapter in your Operating and Safety Manual for more details. Starting at the Perimeter Switch location, uncoil the Perimeter Wire and lay it loosely along the lawn edges. Be sure to leave enough wire at the beginning. This is essential for closing the loop. Start setting the perimeter wire by placing pegs every few meters and at the lawn corners. Use the robo ruler provided to set the correct distance from the lawn edge as shown. Upon hammering the peg to its final depth in the ground, pull the wire tight. It is essential that the peg's head is hammered below ground level. Use the entire length of the robo ruler as wall edge, as shown. Remember that you will want to test the wire setup before you fill in additional pegs. Use the robo ruler for accurate placement of the wire when bypassing obstacles at the lawn edges. Avoid creating corners sharper than 90 degrees, since a corner like this might make your robo-mower leave the wire while mowing the edge. When the edges of the obstacle are too low or too soft to be detected by the robo-mower bumpers, use the perimeter wire to create a perimeter island around the obstacle. Both wires leading to the perimeter island should be parallel and touching. Apply the same method for flower beds, young trees, and ponds. Areas with obstacles grouped closely together should be covered by a single perimeter island, or if they are close to the edge of the lawn, leave them out of the designated area. If the perimeter wire needs to be spliced, use the connectors supplied in the box. Strip one and a half centimeters, half an inch of each wire ends together. Twist the stripped ends together and screw the silicon filled wire nut on the twisted ends. Make sure it is tight. Completing the wire setup. After pegging the wire all around the lawn, join the beginning and the end wires. Twist and peg them down while leading to the perimeter switch so they will not produce an obstacle.
pull the perimeter switch cover off and insert the batteries. Polarity should be according to the drawing on the case. Insert the mounting stake into its slot at the bottom of the perimeter switch and mount it vertically in the ground. Strip off the ends Insert the wires into the connector, either wire to either opening, and tighten the screws. The two parts of the connector are easily connected and separated in order to use the perimeter switch at additional plots. If correctly connected, the on light will blink.